Pies around the house. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick review and product demonstration of the Wago 222 connector blocks. The Wago 222 series come in a box like this. As you can see on the box, they accept a solid conductor from 0.08 mil up to 2.5 mil. They accept a braided cable from 0.08 mil up to 2.5 mil, and they accept flexible cable from 0.08 mil all the way up to 4 mil. They come in a range of sizes and the ones I'm demonstrating today are the ones with two terminals and the ones with three terminals. The 222 series of Wago connector blocks are rated at 400 volts and 32 amps. This makes these perfect for working on any domestic electrical wiring protected by a 32 amp fuse or less. For example, a domestic ring main or a domestic lighting circuit. These connectors must be used in a suitable enclosure. The perfect enclosure for these Wago 222 connectors is the Wago Box Junction Box. And this has been designed specifically to take these connectors along with the 773 range. The cables are automatically secured within the Wago Box Junction Box, so there is no need to clamp or clip them outside the enclosure. In this demonstration, I'm using the CK automatic wire strippers, and I'll review these in another video. First, strip a length of cable down to size. Once you've removed your grey outer sheath to the required length, use the guide on the back of the connector, push your cable up to the end of the guide, mark it with your thumb or finger, take your wire strippers and put them in line with the mark you made and strip your wire like so. Just release the levers by pulling them up. That then slots straight into the connector block. Flick the lever down and that is securely fastened inside the connector and it's that simple. What I particularly like with these connector blocks is all three cables need to be both cut and stripped to the same length, which when using automatic wire strippers makes it extremely easy. Use your guide, mark that with your thumb, take your cable inside, strip, and you've now got the same length bits of cable to put inside your connector block. So just cover your earth with some earth sheath, Take your connector block, click that on there, and then you can pop your other cables into the other connector blocks as required. If you want to do any electrical testing on your cables, you don't need to remove them from the connector block. You simply put your testing device inside this little hole here. These connector blocks are extremely useful when doing lighting circuits. So if we treat this as a mock setup for a ceiling light, if we take what I've labeled as my loop in, you can put your live into there, your neutral into the next connector block, and the earth into the earth connector block. You can then take your loop out, you connect the live to the live, connect the neutral to the neutral, and you connect the earth to the earth. Then our switch live, the live to the live, or the loop, we put the earth to the earth, and then where our switch live returns via the neutral cable, marked with a brown piece of tape to indicate the switch live, we put that into the live terminal. Then this cable would go to your light fitting, and we put the live into the live to create the switch live. The neutral would go back to the neutral. Because these are only 1.5mm cables, we can pop that into the earth and share an earth with another cable. So you can see how versatile these connectors are. And that would be how to do a light fitting using these connector blocks. These connector blocks can then sit inside your light fitting if it's deep enough. Or if they need to be housed in an enclosure in the ceiling, we can use the Wago Box Junction Box. This is the Wago Box Junction Box. Flip the lid open. The cables enter the box. They grip in there. So they don't require fastening outside of the box. And this prevents them from being pulled from the connector blocks. And the connectors just sit in this end compartment there. So for example, with these, push them into the box like that. So those two go in there. Then you can push those two on top. And your cables just squeeze between those fasteners there. If you're just using the twin terminals, you can fit three in each side. If you're using three or more, you can only get two in each side. Just give that a good squeeze together 
the Wagle box is securely fastened and that can then push up into the ceiling. And these cables are secure and can't pull loose from the connectors. Let's just say for example you've got a junction box and you just want to connect two lengths of cable together. Then you simply just take the connector block, put all your neutrals together and one in there. Push your lives together, one in there and one in there. And push your ears together, one in there and one in there. Obviously if you only need two terminals in each block, you can use the one with two levers instead of three. It's entirely up to you. These connectors are completely reusable. Just flick the levers up, remove the connector block, and that can then be used again on another set of cables. So personally, I think these are a brilliant bit of kit. If you're using automatic wire strippers, you can cut and strip these all to the same length at once. It's got a guide on the back to help you when stripping your cable. They're reusable. You've got the Wago Box Junction Box, which is specifically designed to fit these connector blocks. This saves a lot of time, a lot of effort, it makes the job quick, simple, and in my opinion, cheap. Even an idiot can use these. For more DIY, how-to, household tips and product review, please watch my other videos and don't forget to subscribe. I've been Pouse Around the House. Ta-ta! Farewell!